Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you felt you weren't a priority for others? Have you ever experienced a moment when you completed a job well, had a great idea, or did something truly valuable for others, only to receive no credit for it? I know this is hard to deal with. Unfortunately, sometimes even when you act in the right way, do what's best for everyone and make yourself available to others, people may not notice or pretend not to notice your true worth. In fact, if you keep trying to please people who don't give you the recognition you deserve, you might end up disheartened and reversing this situation can be quite challenging. It's undoubtedly an unpleasant feeling and it becomes even worse when it involves someone close to you, such as family, friends, or a partner. According to Stoic philosophy, we shouldn't expect recognition from others because it's beyond our control and such recognition may not happen. Therefore, you shouldn't wait for it as that's a recipe for frustration. But what if I told you there are methods to become a priority in someone's life, to be more recognized. In fact, if you understand and apply what we're about to show you, it's quite possible that this can happen. There are some steps that can help you stay at the top of someone's list. By following these nine steps, you can ensure that the people you care about feel that you are always a priority in their lives. Now that you understand the problem, it's time to revolutionize your approach by learning the solution. Let's go. Before we begin, I'd like to ask you to make sure you watch this video until the end because every step is important. Step 1. Create the fear of losing you. This is one of the most powerful psychological techniques you can use to make someone consider you a priority. People are often more motivated by the fear of losing something than the prospect of gaining it. If you want someone to see you as a priority, you need to make them fear losing you. To do that, start emotionally distancing yourself. Stop sharing your feelings and confidences with them. Begin to balance your time with other people as well. This will make them feel like they're not as important to you as they used to be. It's a very powerful technique, but it must be used with caution. If you distance yourself too much, they may give up on trying to win you back. So you must use this technique wisely and in balance. Step 2. Avoid being always available. The term quality over quantity is often applied to various areas of life, and it also applies to relationships. If you aspire to be a priority in someone's life, you may need to become less available. The more available you are, the higher the likelihood of being taken for granted. This doesn't mean you should only be available when it suits you, but... If you consistently adapt and accommodate others, it's time to prioritize yourself, sending the message that you have a life beyond them and that you're not just waiting for them will make them value your presence more. Step 3. Maintain some mystery. People are generally attracted to the enigmatic and mysterious. Fascination with the unknown can be captivating and often makes people feel more connected in the realm of relationships. Being a little mysterious can work to your advantage. If you want to be seen as a priority, avoid revealing everything about yourself immediately. Give hints about your hobbies and interests without disclosing excessive information. Answer questions vaguely and avoid delving too deeply into your past. The goal is to keep the other person intrigued and eager to learn more about you. Over time, they will begin to see you as a priority in their lives. Step four, allow them to invest in you. This is a delicate step that you must manage wisely and sparingly because you don't want to push people away, but rather the opposite. Consider the following. Who is more inclined to see you as a priority? 
Someone who has invested a lot in you or someone who hasn't? The answer is obvious. If you want someone to see you as a priority, you need to allow them to invest in you. This can be done in various ways. For example, let them invest their time in you. By turning down plans, you know you won't be able to fulfill. Also, show that your time is valuable. Don't always be available and make them wait for you. This attitude will send the message that you're not just anyone and they need to make more effort to win your time. This will make them see you as a challenge and start to prioritize you. Again, remember that you need to use this technique moderately for it to work. Don't go overboard or the result may end up being the opposite of what you desire. Step five, prioritize your needs. This doesn't mean being selfish. Prioritizing your needs simply means not putting yourself in a position where you're not a priority. For instance, if you know that someone won't treat you the way you deserve, why would you want to be close to that person? By surrounding yourself with people who see you as a priority, you increase your chances of being seen as a priority. It's essential to remember that you can't control another person's feelings toward you. You can only control how you feel about yourself if you want to be a priority in someone's life. Make sure you're a priority in your own life. Step six, don't make them the center of your life. Did you know that people are often attracted to things they can't have? It's true. The more someone feels they need to work for something, the more they desire it. You've probably heard the expression, the grass is always greener on the other side. This phrase symbolizes people's tendency to be more captivated by what they don't possess. This applies to interpersonal relationships as well. So, this sixth step emphasizes that you should keep this wisdom in mind when dealing with other people. It encourages you to maintain a certain distance so that people become more attracted to your presence. This will convey the message that you're not desperate for their attention and over time, they will value you more. Step seven, stop initiating communication all the time. If you often find yourself initiating communication with someone important in your life, it may be time to take a step back. This may seem counterproductive because if you want to become a priority in someone's life, shouldn't you be the one to initiate communication? The answer is no. When you're always the one initiating communication, the other person starts taking you for granted. They get used to your efforts and begin to see you as less important. So what's the alternative? Simply stop initiating communication and see the result. If the other person truly cares about you, they will make an effort to get in touch. Step eight, create your own happiness. If you want to become a priority in someone's life, it's important to create your own happiness and not depend on them to be happy. While it would be great to have someone to rely on who makes us feel good, depending on them for our happiness can lead to disappointment. Furthermore, when we depend on others to be happy, we're not truly living our lives. We're living according to their agenda and priorities, which can lead to resentment. If you want to be a priority in someone's life, it's important to create your own happiness this will not only make you happier in the long run, but it will also make you more attractive to others because you'll appear more balanced and self-assured. Step nine, be willing to walk away. The idea of walking away from someone we care about can be frightening, but it's an important step. By showing that you're not afraid to walk away, you're sending the message that you won't accept anything less than you deserve. The right person will naturally see you as a priority and make an effort to keep you in their life. Always remember that your part is to do the right thing, which is within your control. Therefore, you should have the awareness that your actions are right in the eyes of others. And by doing this, you should feel good. Don't expect that you will always be credited or recognized and that people will always give you the value you deserve. Give it time 
and people will naturally start to notice you the way you deserve. Here's the conclusion. To wrap up the reasoning of these nine steps on being a priority in other people's lives, please try to absorb it to the end. We've all experienced moments where we felt neglected or not prioritized. However, it's essential to remember that our journey in life is unique and other people's priorities may not reflect our true worth. Instead of allowing these situations to affect our self-esteem, we can use these moments as opportunities for personal growth. The key is to prioritize ourselves, taking care of our happiness and well-being. Eventually, others will begin to notice and give you the value you deserve. And remember that even when others don't place you at the top of their list, you can and should give yourself the priority you deserve. This isn't selfishness. It's self-compassion and self-determination. By doing so, we can build healthier relationships, make decisions more aligned with our goals, and live a more fulfilling and meaningful life. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if this content was rewarding for your life. I'll leave two videos here that you might be interested in watching too. See you soon.